All right, I want to go over a very quick and powerful way to find um, very high quality backlink sources. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at your competitors and we're going to see where they're getting their backlinks from. Uh, we're not going to just look at any of your competitors. We're going to look at the competitors that are ranking at the top for the keywords that you want and that relate to your niche. And the reason we want to do that is because uh, we're going to assume that uh, these sites have uh, good backlinks. So we're going to look at probably the uh, say top 10 backlinks for each uh, each site. So what I've done is I've just done uh, a little bit of a bubble diagram to give a quick overview just so you can get it into your mind uh, what we're actually doing. So I put in the the first bubble here is this is the topic or the niche um, that you're going after. So let's just say um, for this example let's just say it's photography. <clears throat> so uh, in order to find the competitors for photography I'm gonna pick a couple of uh, you know uh, keywords that are related to my niche we're gonna type it in to Google I'll show you exactly the search term we're gonna uh, search for and then the sites that come up at the top those are gonna be your competitors one through um, ten so let's say we're gonna take uh, ten competitors so competitor one, competitor two, competitor three, and so on. So when we drill into competitor one, we're going to find out what their backlink sources are. So where are they getting their sources that that's making them rank so high in Google? <clears throat> and then once we get through all of competitor two, we do competitor three. Let's say we, you know, let's say we've been at this for a while, we've exhausted all those resources. Well, what we can then do is to take those backlink sources and see where they're getting their backlinks from because if they were powerful enough to to push this competitor of yours up to the top of Google then it must be a good site itself and it must have strong backlinks and they will also be somewhat related to your niche so you can start going into those and as you can see if you do the top 10 of each of these you're going to be at this for a while and you're, it's basically uh, never ending so, uh, without further ado, let's just, uh, I'm going to jump over to Google and show you exactly uh, the method for doing this. Okay, so here we are at Google. Let's uh, start finding your competitors. So let's stick with the idea that we're going to use uh, photography as the niche. So photography, we'll just type that into Google as a keyword. You may want to have different... Uh, different keywords or you know whatever is more related this is just a, an overview to show you how it's done okay so let's come down here and one thing I will say is if uh, some of these real big sites like National Geographic and Wiki you can look at them but I tend to focus on some that aren't so commercial commercial I guess they um, uh, end up having links that really aren't attainable a lot of the times I find. So uh, let's go with this photography.com as your say competitor number one and as you go down through see I've got some local results here just based on my geographic location but um, we would go down and maybe photography.ca uh, and then this one and then this one these would be like competitors two three and four so uh, remember the competitors were in the blue bubbles in the bubble diagram earlier. So photography.com, let's remember that, that's our competitor one. So this is what we do to get the uh, pink bubbles, so the backlink sources, uh, next here I'm going to show you. The search is links colon space quote www.photography com. So this is the site, the URL of your competitor, uh, and you can see where I've typed that. It comes up with links from that site as well. So there's two ways to remove them. Uh, one way that I'm going to remove them, it's uh, it's going to remove them from a few other types of uh, link sources that come up that really aren't affect links as well. Um, 
I'll just show you this uh, one method for now. So minus in URL colon and we're going to put photography so again the domain name or, or URL uh, of our competitor <coughs> and search. So what you see is it removed anything with photography.com in the URL generally the site itself and other uh, sites that basically perform audits on your site they'll use your domain name in the uh, URL it's just a way to specify that you're the site that they did the audit on a so-called audit so you would find a lot of these come up in your Google results and that's just a way to filter those out so you get um, better links so the uh, first one here Lowell technology let's click on that so this is going to be our potential backs uh, you know uh, backlink source number one as you can see uh, he's got here digital phot photography links now it uh, really at this point is unclear um, if these are paid looks like you know they, they could be paid links uh, really it's depending on what your website is uh, for example if you're a site selling something then generally uh, you know you may have to pay for certain links on sites like this but if you're a site that is a, uh, given a how-to demonstrations or something that could help the visitors of this person's site then there's a good chance they'll actually just add your your link just because you have good content that can help their, their readers so uh, if again if it's, you're just directly selling a product you may need to purchase some of these links uh, be well worth your while um, depending on what you know the, the charges are so that's our backlink source number one so remember in the pink bubbles that's uh, backlink source number one of competitor number one <clears throat> so we're just gonna back up and check out the next one and as you can see some more links and uh, you can see there's quite a few so there there may be a an option here to to just add your own link but what you gotta do is you just get in there and you look around and usually there'll be at least contact information if you don't see how to to um, add your link uh, automatically uh, just through uh, posting or a form contact them and uh, you know strike up a conversation with them and see how you can get your your link on their site um, and again how easy that is will depend on what your site's about. Uh, I found with a site that I was doing that uh, other other people were uh, selling stuff and selling products and they were paying to have their ads on certain sites that I found but when I contacted those sites they allowed me to put my content or, or link on there for free because it was good uh, how-to information for um, for their readers and visitors okay so uh, basically that's it so once you get that done it's it's rinse and repeat go down through all of these uh, all of these uh, links backlink sources and like I said before once if you got through say your first 10 competitors and their 10 you know top 10 or more backlinks and there's there's many more backlinks than that as you can see uh, this one's saying uh, there's approximately two million results but uh, I find Google you really don't know until you get to the last page of results it's it's I'm quite sure not that many but uh, what you can do is if you did start running out of sources from your competitors if you did your you know top 10 competitors and all of the main backlinks the good backlinks that they had you could start going to the backlink sources so this lowelltechnology.com you could use that up here instead of photography.com and start finding their backlink sources and as you can see this just it's ongoing and can go forever so really right here in front of you you have an endless supply of backlinks now this is using Google to find them there are um, other ways to do it and uh, 
one I tend to use uh, quite frequently, and I will show that uh, in another training module within the Backlink Bloodhound uh, program.